good day Glowforge friends. I've got a new tutorial and I'm going to show you how to make some fancy text using Inkscape so that we can cut it on our Glowforge. So let's get cracking. Let's begin by clicking file and choosing new from template and switch to the Glowforge template you want to use. If you don't have this once again I will post a link so that you can get to the training where I taught you how to add the templates. I'm going to start by naming my new file just because that helps me keep track of them. And to do that, I must click File, Save As. I'm going to put it in that keychain folder I always use. And I'm going to name mine Fancy Text, and I'm going to leave it as an Inkscape SVG. I'm going to grab the text tool, and I'm going to type Amazing. Just because it's a fun word to print. I don't need it, I just choose to. I am not gonna stretch it at this moment. Instead, I'm gonna go right over to the font choices and then I'm gonna use the arrow key as I move through and look at all these possible font choices that I could use. And I want one that I can connect together. So having these little tails makes it a little more useful. There are some that are easier to work with than others. I'm going to pick brush script because it is pretty easy and I'm going to just show you how to make it so that it connects. When you hit apply, it shows up and now you can stretch it to be as large as you want on your template. If you haven't learned already, the Glowforge cannot handle text that is exported just like this from a Inkscape text box. So what we have to do is click on path and we need to change that to a path. If we ungroup that path, you'll be able to see that each letter is separate, and then we need to connect all these letters together. These are already touching each other, which makes this font easier to work with. As you can tell though, the A is not. So I'm gonna zoom in, and I have a couple of options. I could just grab the A and move it over, but I don't like how that connects. So I'm gonna undo that with Control Z, and I'm gonna switch to its nodes. I'm gonna grab two nodes at once, and I'm just going to extend them. You can click on your little handles one at a time and make it custom. You could give it some sort of curl if you wanted so that it had a bend if that's what you chose. And I think I'm going to choose a little bit of a bend, just because I can. When I switch back, I'm going to zoom to the full page. Now I'm simply going to grab everything and I'm going to click on path and I'm going to choose union. And now it has converted that into one awesome path that I can work with. Now if you want to see something interesting, when we hit nodes, look how many nodes there are. A sweet thing that you can do to make it a little more custom and easier for the machine if you feel like it is to choose path and simplify. Notice that is pretty much the exact same design, but it's gonna be easier for the Glowforge to cut. I'm gonna make it so it has no fill. I'm going to right click on my color and choose set stroke. And then I want that stroke to be a lot thinner. So I'm gonna click stroke style and I'm gonna put one millimeter. Just like that, you have designed a sweet chunk of text. I'm gonna cut mine out of cardboard and just use it in my classroom over something but it is a sweet way to make something awesome that you can do. Some people have mentioned that it is smart to save as plain SVGs. I have been having success using the Inkscape ones. So I'm going to replace this one because that was the same name, and I'm just going to stick with that. If I ever start having any issues with mine, the way I'm using it, well, then I'll switch to the plain SVG. Friends, if you found this useful, please hammer that like button. If you got a question or a comment or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit notifications if you want to be the first to know when I make a brand new movie. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.